For Trisha Fernandez's loved ones, life will never be the same. Dell City Police say the 22-year-old was killed in an apparent murder-suicide. News 9's Angelicia Bruton is live at the Dell City Police Department. And Angelicia, you spoke to Fernandez's friends about their tragic loss. Trisha Fernandez's friend tells me it's still hard to believe that Trisha is gone. She wants her to be remembered as more than just a headline. She says she was a daughter, a sister, and her best friend. Larissa Carrera says whenever she would see Trisha Fernandez, she would always greet her with a smile. The two met about nine months ago when they became co-workers. She made work fun. <laughs> it was nice working every day because I had someone to be goofy with and silly because that's just the way she was. <laughs> Trisha was not from Oklahoma. She moved here about two years ago with her boyfriend, Aaron Butler, who was stationed at Tinker Air Force Base. Carrera says the two immediately became close. Instead of being work friends, they were family. We talked pretty much every day on the phone or when we weren't together or just at home after work. Carrera says when Trisha didn't show up to work for two days in a row, she was concerned. But she never expected to receive a call saying her friend was found dead in a home along with Butler in what police say is an apparent murder-suicide. It's definitely unfair. <laughs> um, I don't think anybody, I mean, I know that I'm not family and my heart goes out to them, but her and her family know what he deserves. <laughs> what happened to her? Trisha's friends are planning a ceremony to celebrate her life. Her family sent News 9 a statement saying, We know she is looking down upon each and every one of you and will be your angel, protector, and guide. Trisha Fernandez's family just got to Oklahoma yesterday. They're working on getting her body back to California. They have a GoFundMe page set up with that. Live in, Oklahoma, live in Del City, Angelicia Bruton, Oklahoma Zone, News 9. Angelicia.